Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. To all the men out here in the Western society, I need you to pay close attention to this video right here. This shows you how greedy modern slash Western women are. Nothing is enough for them. No amount of money is enough for them. When you're when you're giving it, um, them child support or spousal support, their whole ideal and their ideology, they just want to ruin you. That's it. They want to see you down and out, broke and struggling. And they will try to make you miserable every chance they get. Every chance they get. I'm not going to talk anymore. We about to get right into this damn video. Miss Bobby Joe Carpenter and Mr. Joshua Birch, please raise your right hands. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. You can both put your hands down. Okay. How old are your children? They are 12 and 14. Okay. And the current order in your case from 2017 has the child support set at $1,925. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And I want y'all to hear that right now. As of right now, she is getting $1,925 a month. So make sure y'all log that into y'all memory bank, okay? Her, she's getting $1,925 a month. We're going to break this down. Mr. Birch was also ordered to carry the um, health insurance for the children in that order? Yes, which okay. is what I asked, which that has been, I guess, resolved and not a part of this. That was my okay. priority. Now, yeah, we'll, we'll, address, we'll address that okay. here in a second. Um, how are the children currently covered for health insurance? Uh, under Joshua. Okay. Um, through his employer? Uh, he owns his own business. Okay. Um, does he also have dental insurance for the children? No, he does not. Okay. Um, do you have dental insurance available for them? Um, I will. Uh, the dental insurance was just recently canceled on Joshua's end. Okay. Do you have dental insurance available through your job? Yes, I do. And okay. healthcare. Um, how much is the dental insurance? Oh, goodness. I provided the information last time, but it's, it's very minimal. Do you have our notes from last time? I didn't bring any of that with me. Um, the proposed order stated the um, dental insurance costs thirty dollars and thirty three cents per month. Is that that's, correct? That's probably correct. Was that so, for was that for just the two children? No, that's for family. Okay. How many people are um, included in that? Uh, just me and the two girls. Okay, so three. Yes. Okay. Um, do you know if um, do you know where Mr. Birch works? He works at East Texas Truck Center. Okay. Um, does he, do you know how much, or how long has he done that? Um, I really don't know. I mean, it's been several years now that he's owned it. I would probably guess if I was to guess probably five to seven years. Okay. And you said that he owns that business? Yes. He also owns other businesses as well. Um, I'm not really fully aware of what all businesses that he does own. Okay. Um, but I do know for a fact he does own East Texas Truck Center and he does have a business in uh, Nacogdoches and a business in um, Baytown. Okay. Is the East Truck uh, East Texas Truck Center, that is that his main source of income? Yes. Okay. And you said that he's the owner of that business? Yes, that's correct. Um, do you have any idea what kind of income that business generates? Um, if you, I would guess probably three to five million. I did uh, um, submit, and I'm not sure if you received it yesterday. Um, I did get online and look at the appraisal districts for his property values. Um, did you receive that? Let's stop it right there. Look at all the stuff that she's going through to find out how much her baby father is worth. She's going online herself, getting appraisals for certain stuff that her children's father owns so that she can get way more money. How sickening, how sickening is that? She's putting in all this work instead of going out there and providing and making more money for herself and her kids. 
She wants to pack. She wants to pocket watch the father and take everything that he's has that he pretty much has or get more so she can live off of him. It could do the bare minimum. This is what it's come to, guys. Be careful when you even marry these women or even have baby mothers. Don't let them know everything that you got. Don't let them know about all your assets. This is what it has come down to. When you break up with them and y'all break it off, this is what they're going to be doing. Take notes, fellas. Your boy MABW is here for you. Take notes. Um, I did receive it. Okay. So as far as his property values, which like I said, I, I can't state as to for as his revenue because it is an LLC and the doc or the um, financial information is not available. But I will say like as far as property owned in Baytown, um, per the appraisal district, it's 1.1 million. Um, in Nacogdoches, he owns five properties three of which were just acquired Carpenter. in December 15th, 2021. Ms. Carpenter, stop. Yes. Ms. Simone, I need you to ask questions. Yes, sir. Thank you. Our, Sorry. Okay, you said that he owns other businesses. Do you know what the businesses are or what the business, um, what the name of the businesses are? Um, I can, uh, if you look at his LinkedIn accounts. Uh, I don't have that available. Sorry. Okay, I'm pulling it up right now. I want to say that I want to commend the uh, father how for, for how calm and collective he is. I really commend men like this because me personally, I'll probably be flipping the script. I commend him for being very calm. I could pull it up. I'll look it up on my computer. It's a lot faster internet. So, Ms. Carpenter, this information that you're about to give me is something that you're looking up from somewhere else? Uh, the business is owned is um, just no, from just his LinkedIn question. account, Ms. President. Carpenter, you don't know this information personally. This is just information that you're searching on the Internet for. Uh, and also, my my 14-year-old has told me as well. Okay, so you can't use that information. Okay. You've all missed Simone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, pass the witness. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if you can find somebody that actually has direct knowledge of what it is that you're trying to do here. Yes, sir. I will call Mr. Birch. Uh, Mr. Birch, would you state your full name for the court, please? Joshua Paul Birch. Okay. And you're the father of Aubrey and Adeline Birch? That is correct. Okay. And are you currently covering the children on your health insurance? Yes, ma'am. I am. Okay. And can you give me the cost of that? Um, $315.97 per month per child through Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay. So $631.94. And all right. And um, where do you currently work? East Texas Truck Center. Okay. And are you the owner of that business? I'm a minority owner in that business. Okay. Are you paid a salary? I am, yes, ma'am. Okay, and what is that salary? Uh, it's ninety thousand dollars a year. Okay. Um. Do you own any other, or do you own any other businesses besides the um, East Texas Trucking Center? So I'm a minority owner in East Texas Truck Center Inc., okay. which is not a which is not a LLC, and I'm a minority owner in East Texas Truck Center Baytown. LLC. I'm a minority owner in Keystone Financial LLC, and I'm a, a um, majority owner in Cornerstone LLC. Do you receive any other? I want to stop it right there. So he's paying about he's paying damn near seven hundred dollars a month for his two children's Blue Cross Blue Shield insurance. And he's paying her $1,925 a month for child support. Looking at him, does he seem like a good dad? But the funny thing is, he'll be called the deadbeat. 
He'll be looked upon as the deadbeat dad. See, this is what women don't see or hear about men doing for their children. But men are considered and looked upon as the deadbeats. When she could sit there and bite her nails, shake her head, try to look up his financial information, pocket watch, instead of getting it on her own. This is what most women out here do. This is what they do. They want to pocket watch you and try to take as much as they can from you. Men, I hate to say it, but this day and age, you don't even need to have children with some of these women and definitely don't get married because this is what's happening right here. Look at her face. She's getting almost $2,000 a month. She doesn't have to worry about paying for health insurance. All she has to pay for is the dental, which is $33 a month. And that's coming out of the child support she gets anyway. So she's really paying nothing. And she's biting her nails and she's nervous. You would think that he would be biting his nails and pulling his hair out. Salute, MABW team, to this man right here. Throw up the salute, man. Salute him. Salute him right now. Salute him. Any other type of um, revenue from East uh, Texas Truck Center besides your salary? No, ma'am. Unless there's a dividend given, but we haven't given dividends. Okay. Um, do you make any income from the Keystone Financial? Uh, no, ma'am. There's no salaries or dividends given from that either. It's a startup company. And do you make any income um, from Cornerstone Financial? Uh, no, ma'am. Same thing. It was also established uh, last year. Okay. And was you said Keystone? When was that established? Uh, Keystone was actually established in 2000. I thought you said Keystone the first time. I yeah, I did. I did. I'm sorry. Uh, Keystone was established in 2018. Okay. I'm a minority there as well. Salute. He didn't come to play. He knows what he's talking about. Those are his businesses. She's pocket watching, doesn't know what she's talking about. And if, and even if she thinks she does know what she's talking about, he came with his A game. And that's the beauty about being a business owner. That's the beauty about being a business owner. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And you have not received any income from Keystone to the state? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and pass the witness. Why are you next witness? I have no further witnesses. The state ref? Um, yes. Okay. Your motion's denied. Uh, Mr. Birch, uh, Ms. Carpenter, um, I've just denied the state's motion to adjust the child support in this case. They have to put on evidence to show me that. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. I'm happy for him. Your boy MABW is happy for him. Dismiss it. Dismiss it. Because all she's doing is pocket watching. She doesn't even have any real evidence. She's sitting up there trying to Google his businesses. Ugh, I love it. I love it. This is what needs to happen to these greedy women. She's getting damn near two bands a month for nothing. Her children are 12 and 14. And I'm pretty sure that the father can take care of the children on his own. Salute to that judge. Good job, Your Honor. Good freaking job. That there's some kind of change in income. And I heard nothing that leads me to believe that there's been a change. Um, so uh, the state not meeting its burden uh, is therefore the motion is denied. If any part is satisfied, no, that's okay. I don't need to hear anything. If I'm any not understanding what's denied, sir, the new order or the old order? I I'm denying the state's, there's, there's no new order, Mr. Birch. Yes, sir. Uh, you and Ms. Carpenter and the state were not able to come to an agreement. And yes, so sir. A lawsuit was filed before me to see if the child support needs to be adjusted. The laws in this state are very simple. The state or whoever is asking me to adjust the child support 
has to prove what your old income was, where it came from, and the circumstances behind it, and then compare it to the new information that you have. And I find that the state has completely and utterly failed to do that. They haven't proven anything to me. Um, they've thrown out some stuff, but nothing with any concrete or significant basis. And therefore I'm denying the motion because they haven't met their burden of proof. They haven't proven to me that there's been any kind of a change. So um, any party has the right to appeal my decision. Um, you, your appeal must be filed uh, with the Orange County District Clerk's Office. It has to be filed in the next three business days. And you have to make sure that you specify in your appeal what part of my ruling you disagree with. And you're also responsible for making sure that a copy of that written appeal is sent. If Bobby, if let, me Bobby, finish, let me finish, oh. Mr. Birch. Um, and you're also responsible for sending a copy of that written appeal to all the other non-appealing parties. All right. Now, Mr. Birch, what were you going to say? If her medical is obviously cheaper than what I'm providing at 631 per kid, and she's at 291 per kid, is there a way that instead of me paying Blue Cross Blue Shield the 631, that I could pay her the 291 for the medical? If y'all can sit down with the AG's office and come up with another agreement, you have my permission to do so, but I'm denying this motion. So y'all okay. have, have to start over in regards to that issue, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, anything else? And that's a very good question, Mr. Birch, and I hope that you and Ms. Carpenter are able to sit down and get that hammered out to make sure that we've got good medical insurance and, and good for, for the both of you. So it's good for you financially as well as from your situation that you're in regard to the two children, okay? Yeah. Uh, Ms. Carpenter, do you have any questions? No, I mean, the priority was the medical. Uh, I mean, that was my major point. All uh, right. Can you explain your relationship? Salute, salute to him. Salute to this this guy right here, man. He went in there. He came on his A game. He didn't interrupt while she was talking. She was biting her fingernails. Damn near about to have a meltdown because she felt as if he made three to five million dollars a year, and he possibly could be making three to five million dollars a year. But that's not that's not her concern. Why can't women just be happy with what they're getting? Like damn near $2,000 isn't enough. Us men, us men, not you women, us men, we form, we form our businesses. We put in the blood, sweat, and tears for our businesses. And all you women want to come do is take it away from us or take the piece of the pie so you don't got to do anything else for the rest of your life. It may be W team. I want y'all right now to stand up and salute this man. He did a damn good job. Much respect to him. I wish I could talk to this guy right here. He's my hero. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.